Hello everyone, my name is Ashish. Welcome back to my channel. So there is a good news for you guys. I'm going to start a series on DAX where I'm going to solve each and every questions from this website. I'm going to provide the link in the description for this website. You can also go and check this exercises. So there are 28 DAX problems. I'm going to solve each and every question and show you what is the step to solve a DAX problem. I know most of you guys don't like DAX because you don't understand DAX. If you understand DAX properly, if you understand the concept of DAX, DAX will become very easy and you will love DAX. So here I am to hold your hand and teach you DAX solving these questions. So let's start our first video with the problem number one. Let's go to the exercise. Here it says topic calculated column level is relatively easy subject is for your training. Then before you can do this exercise, we need to download and unzip the file. If you have any problems doing this, click a file. So let's download the question file and open it. So here I have the tallest building file. Let's go to the question. Uh, so it's saying open the Power BI file in the above folder. You should see that it contains a list of 20, uh, 61 tallest buildings in the world at the time of writing. And uh, so this is the question. Uh, this will appear in our uh, Power BI file, which is uh, the question. So it says create a calculated column in the buildings table to show the average height of each floor for each building. It has given the hint also divide the meters column by the floors column. And uh, this saying, if you add this column to your table and sort by it, you will see giant owl towers appears at the top. Let's first open the file and divide uh, these meters by floors and create a calculated column. So let's go to the Power BI file, and as you can see, we have a table visual given where we have the 61 tallest buildings with floors and meters columns added to it. So let's go to the table view. And uh, here we have building table and we, here we can see uh, the same thing which we uh, can see in the table visual. So here we have meters and floors column. So let's add a new column for average height of each floor. Average height of each floor. Which is, uh, uh, let's uh, divide meters by floors. And if I click enter, uh, we have got the column. Let's add this column to this visual. So I will add this column in the stable visual. And if I sort this uh, by this column, we can see this. Let's go back to the question. And it says, if you add this column to a table and sort by it, you will see the gi giant owl towers appears at the top. Let's see. Yes, giant owl towers uh, appearing in the top. Now the problem is uh, that this building has zero floors. Okay, we have zero floors in this. This looks like a sloppy data input error on the part of the wise owl exercise team. Amend your formula so that it shows a blank for the average floor height for buildings with no floors. Okay, so what we have done is we have uh, divided floor, uh, meters by floors. That is uh, something divided by zero is infinity. So that's why we are getting infinity here. Uh, what the question is saying is we should uh, um, change our formula in such a way that uh, uh, it gives blank here instead of infinity because average floor height cannot be infinity. So what can we change? So here we have the first lesson in this first exercise. We should not divide uh, directly using operator. So this is a divide operator. We should not divide using operator. Instead, we have a divide function. So if I delete this and I divide and in the numerator, if I give meters, comma, floor, and then close the bracket. So if I do this, you can see that the infinity is gone. Now you cannot see infinity here. Instead of infinity, you will see blank. Why? 
because this divide function will handle the divided by zero error in the formula. So what do you learn from this exercise? We should never divide by using divide operator. Instead, we should divide by divide function. So this was the lesson number one and this was our first exercise. Let's see if you have anything else in this uh, exercise. Much better if you sort the buildings in ascending order by average provide. Giant owl towers appears at the top of the list. And we are getting the same. Now let me show you one more thing. So th this divide function is having divide numerator, denominator and alternate result. So here we don't have any alternate result. Suppose instead of blank you want zero to be the output. In that case what you can do is you can add comma and add zero here. So that in case of uh, blank, it will return zero. See? So whenever you want to return zero and not return any blank values, so you can do this. But here we need blank. So I will remove this comma zero. And this is our first exercise. So that was it for this video. Hope you have learned something new. You are, I'm going to cover the next exercise in the next video. So do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.